Hello everyone, welcome to Git and GitHub tutorial for beginner. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you everything about GitHub and Git from the very beginning. So first of all, I'm going to show you how to create a GitHub account. Then I'll show you how you can install Git in your device. Then we are going to upload a project to the GitHub using Git. Also, I'll show you how you can update the project in the GitHub and also how you can create a branch in GitHub. And I'll show you everything step by step from the very beginning. So first of all, let's go and create a GitHub account. So for it, what we need to do is that we need to go to our browser. Then you need to search for GitHub. And after that, you need to go to this link github.com. After coming here, you need to click on this sign up option. Just click on sign up then something like this will pop up so here you need to give your email address so i'll give my email address and after giving the email address you need to click on continue just click on continue then you need to give a password so i'm going to give my own password after that click on continue then you need to give a username let's say the username will be yamin and this name is not available so let me say here yamin art so this is available so now click on continue and if you want you can check this but i'm going to keep it the way it is and then click on continue there you can see verify your account so right now we need to verify this so please solve the puzzle so that we can know you are a real person so here you can see verify so i'll just click on verify so here we need to rotate this character to face the same direction of this hand so i'm going to just rotate this and this is the same direction that uh, this hand sign is showing so after this then click on submit and there you can see it is done then it will send you a verification mail at your mail address so right now we need to go to our gmail account And here I will receive a verification email. There you can see GitHub. And this is the code. So I'll just copy this and paste it over here. There you can see. After that, it will ask us to log in. So I'll just give my email address. Then I'll give the password. Then click on sign in. And then it will ask you some question. I'll just click on student, just me, click on continue. And what are the two things you want to do with GitHub? Uh, start a new project and uh, let's say connect with other developers, then click on continue. And there you can see we're going to choose this option free. Uh, this is the free option. So we'll just go down and click here, continue for free. And there you go, our GitHub account is created successfully. After going to your GitHub account, you can create your own repository. So here you can see we have some option, create repository or create new repository option here. So I'm going to click on this option. Just click on dashboard first. Then you will see this option. So I'll click on create repository. And here you need to give a name, repository name. Let's say the name will be first underscore project. And here, uh, just make it public, then add a readme file and keep everything the way it is. After that, click here, create repository. There you can see our repository is created. So after creating your repository, we want to upload a project to this repository. And how can we do it? So for it, uh, in order to upload a project from your local, to github you need to install git in your device so right now let's go and install git in our device so for it in just go to your browser then search for git download and there you can see you will get this link git scm.com so just click here download git and i will also give this link in the description so currently I am using Windows and here you can see download for Windows option. If you are using Mac OS or Linux, just choose those options. So since I am using Windows, so I am going to click here download for Windows. So from here, I am going to download this option 64 bit kit for Windows setup. So I am going to choose this option. 
Once you click on it, it will start downloading. There you can see. So it is around 65 MB. So right now I will just fast forward the video. And there you can see git download is complete. So when the download is complete, just click on this download file. Just double click here. And just give a permission. Yes. After that, it will show you something like this. So just directly click on next. Then it will show you where it will install your git. I'll keep the default location, then click on next. And you do not need to do anything here. Just click next, next, and next again. And we'll choose this option, let git decide or what kind of branch it will use. So I'll just keep it the way it is, then click on next. Then again, just choose the middle one. There I guess it is recommended. Click on next, then click next again, next, next, next. Just keep clicking on next and click on install. There you can see it is installing. So it will take some time. So I will just again fast forward the video. And there you can see it is complete. So we'll just keep it the way it is. Uh, we'll just uncheck this and click on finish. So how can we know that git is installed? So once you have installed git, just go to your any folder. Then if you just right click on it, then click on show more option, you will see this option, open git GUI here and open git bash here. If you click on it, it will open git bash over here like this, there you can see. So if you are seeing this, it means git is successfully installed in your device. So we can just close this right now. So right now what we are going to do is that uh, we'll go to our GitHub repository and here we're going to upload our project from our local. So here you can see that uh, I have a HTML project, a small HTML project. We have index file, style file and images here. So I am going to upload this project to the GitHub using Git. And this is actually really simple. So for it, first of all, what we need to do is that we need to go to our folder location. There you can see this is the HTML folder that we want to upload. So first of all, we'll go inside and here we're going to right click, then click on show more option, then we'll click here, open git bash here. So let me just zoom in here and let me just make it a little bit bigger. So the first command we need to write over here is we need to say here git in it. It means we are initializing git to this location. And here you can see we are currently in this location d drive and the folder name is HTML. There you can see. So we need to say here git in it, then press enter. So it will initialize an empty git repository. So after that, we need to say here git at space dot, then press enter. Then we need to say here git commit minus l to double quotation and inside this we need to write a message and you can write any message let's say here my first git upload then press enter so after that if you are using git in your windows for the first time then you need to verify your email address and your name so for it let me just copy this whole thing so control C, I mean, we just need to select the whole thing, then press it, then copy this, and we're going to paste it over here. Then here, we need to give our email address. And for my case, my email address was yaminshakil70 at the rate of gmail.com. Then we need to press enter. Then we need to give the name, username that we give in the GitHub. So let me just copy this. I'll just copy this. Then I'm going to paste it here. And the name was Yamin Art. Let me say here Yamin dash Art. Then press enter. So right now you just need to do it only one time. After that, it your Git will automatically understand that uh, this is the email that you are using. So it will automatically add this email address to your Git. So it will not ask for your email address anymore. 
So after this command, uh, git commit minus l, uh, my first git upload, we need to run one more command. That is git remote add origin. It will be add origin. Then we need to measure our GitHub repository name. So here, let's go back to our browser. And here you can see this is our Git repository first project that we just created. And here you can see we have a code option. Just click here. And here you can see we have a link here. So we just need to copy it. So if you just click on it, it will be copied. So after that, you need to go to your Git bash. And we need to paste this over here. You just need to write it like this. Then just press enter. So here we are just telling our git bash that we want to upload our this project to this github repository. So we need to push our code to this git repository. So for it we need to say here git push minus u origin and there you can see by default it choose a branch called master. So we need to say here master and then press Okay, so if you're seeing this error, then what you need to do is that you need to say here git add again, git add dot space dot press enter. Then you need to say again git commit minus m. We need to give a message here. So let's say here first upload. Again press enter. And after that, we are going to say here git remote add origin then let me just copy this again and we're going to paste it here so it will i think say that it is already registered there you can see origin already exists okay that's fine that's not an issue after that again we're just going to say here git push minus u origin it will be master because there is master is written over here so we'll now press enter and it will upload soon and uh, github sign in uh, it is showing us something a pop-up that github sign in uh, so let me just click here sign in with your browser and we need to authorize git ecosystem over here It is complete. So let me just go to my Git again. And there you can see our project is uploaded. There you can see. So right now, there you can see uh, master has pushes on this date. If we now just refresh here, there you can see there is nothing. But if we now click on this branch name on this main, there is one more branch called master. Just click on it. And here you can see we have some folders and files here. So right now in the next part of this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to update any changes in those files. Let's say uh, you make changes in the index file or the style file or in the image file. So how can we update those in the Git branches? In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can update your existing GitHub repository. So I have uploaded a project in my GitHub repo. Here you can see image on and index.html and which is basically this one. Here you can see image on and index.html. So let's say I have made some changes and I want to push those update to my Git repo. So how can we do it? This is really simple. So first of all, let me just add a file over here. Let's just add a text file here. In that text file, let's say here, hello. And inside it, uh, inside this text file, we are going to say hello. So let's just save this and close it. And here you can see in the short HTML, let's also make some changes in our code as well. So I'm going to open it using, uh, let's say, Visual Studio Code. And let me just put down. Let me just copy this div. And I'm going to just paste this again over here. Then save it and let's close this. So we have made some changes over here in this project. So we are going to push those changes in our 
git repository so for it what you need to do is simple let me just right click here and open the git bash here you can see open git bash here after that let me just zoom in so here first of all what we are going to write is we are going to say here git init then it is already initialized so here you can see reinitializing after that we are going to say git add space then a dot press enter then here we need to leave a message so we are going to say here git commit minus m let's say we have added a new file let's say added new file let's just say this then press enter so right now we are going to push those changes to the git repo so for it we need to say here git push origin then master then press enter and there you can see the project is uploaded to the github so right now if we just go to our github and there you can see there has been changes four seconds ago in the master branch there you can see in the master branch so if you now just refresh here there you can see we have a new file called hello.txt if we just click on it here you can see it says hello let me just go back and here you can see compare and pull request if we click on it it will show us how we made the changes here you can see we have added a extra div in our code and it is showing us here so this is how you can update your existing git repository In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can create a new branch in GitHub repository. So this is really simple. So first of all, let me just go to my folder uh, from where I just uploaded those files to my this repository. So we're going to create a branch over here and this is our branch name will be my new branch. So let's go back to our other location. So right now we're just going to click here, then click show more option and click here, open git bash here. There you can see, so let me just make it bigger and let me zoom in. So first of all, we're going to set here new branch, then press printer. There you can see there is only one branch, which is master. So we're going to create a new branch. So in order to create a new branch, we need to set here kid branch minus C. After that, we need to give our branch name. Yes, our branch name will be my underscore new underscore branch. And if we press enter, there you can see this command is done. But if we just refresh our GitHub, you won't see any other branch here. So you will only see the new branch when you comment something in that branch. So let's just go back. So here, first of all, we need to select this branch, my new branch, is from the master branch. So in order to select this branch, we need to say gchefau, then our branch name, which is my new branch. Then press enter. There you can see switch to branch, my new branch, and it is also written here, my new branch. So if we just send here git branch, press enter, there you can see, my new branch is selected so let's say we want to upload something to our new branch so let me just add a on more text file here uh let me just click here new then text document let's say new file dot dht so let's commit those changes in our new branch so in order to make changes in the new branch first of all we need to say git add space dot then press enter. Then we need to set here key commit minus m and a message. We need to write a message. Oh, new update just arrived. This is just a message. And uh, if we now press enter, it will show that we have just changed on file here. After that, in order to push those stages, we need to say git push origin head. Then press enter and our push is complete in the new branch so right now if we just go to our github there you can see my new branch has results pushes three second ago if we just refresh and click here there you can see we have on more branch if we just select that branch there you can see we have some files and also new file.txt which we just added right now so this is how you can add new branch and push core 
to the new branch. I hope this is easy for you to follow. If you have any question or suggestion, just let me know in the comment section. Make sure to subscribe and I hope to see you in the future tutorials.